So today's project is getting ready for the new furnace. This was a real good proper installation back in the 50s of a gas furnace, except for that it was gas, and we're switching it to oil. The house was originally coal heated, and there's a coal door over in the side, and this old furnace is still running great. What is it, 90, 98% efficient? 80. Oh, 80, okay, really high anyways. And that's right up there comparable with the new furnaces. So uh, with it being gas, we find that oil is much more efficient, cleaner burning, better new, BTUs per dollar. The new one's 90 something. Okay. And um, the squirrel cage or fan uh, motor in this has been disrupted or compromised. So rather than have the fan on run all the time, uh, that's not going to help your electric bill any. We're just replacing the whole furnace because of the age. The motor won't start on its own. Okay. If you kick start it, it'll go forever. And we were going to switch it anyway, so. Yeah. So we, we got by while we could with it. Um, however, the new furnace is a Thermal Pride oil-fired furnace and it's got a wider base. So we're adding a 10 inch extension to the concrete base here in the basement. It's longer and skinnier. Okay. It's longer furnace and skinnier. So we've got some doors around here, but that's the front facing section. This was um, two separate units, the way they did it. The blower was housed in this cabinet and it's an old Lennox. And of course, we added uh, air conditioning. It says it's a Lennox Airflow. We added air conditioning to the house in like 2003, so now it'll be real good heat and air. We've done a little bit of masonry work on the chimney. We've been doing lots of that kind of work. A lot of concrete masonry work going on these days. A long time ago, he filled in here. This originally had <laughs> Like four different openings. It had an incinerator, the water heater, the furnace, a second furnace outlet, and what's the one on this side for? Where? One up there. What was this opening on the side for? This, and he had it too close to the wood. Oh. He had the he had a piece of sheet metal here. He had no clearance in between his stove pipe mm -hmm. and the beams. Uh I don't know, I think this was the original coal furnace. I think it had, I don't know what it was, maybe coal, then oil, then gas, and it had an incinerator and hot water. So there's five openings in the chimney. So okay. this one was a decorative cover when we bought the house. So I filled that in, filled this one in the other day because that won't fly. Yeah. Filled the uh, hot water heater one in. Over here I filled in the incinerator one years ago. I took that out. That didn't even work. I just sold it for an antique. Okay. So... So I just went through and I we just took the gonna... opportunity to do the clean out. We're going to do what? We just need one. Yeah. We don't need five. Yeah. One. So there was a incinerator there. And the old coal door, maybe the one on the side was for a little coal heater. So that's going to possibly become a window on the outside because we've only got one window here. And one back there that might get switched out. We'll just see how it all goes. But this looks a lot nicer. I figured get a step ahead of the home inspector. Saying that I got a cruddy door cover. So I wire brushed it and painted it pretty. So you can see there's just a two by four framework here and we put a little weight against it so that it doesn't shift while he's working. And we scraped and sanded away any paint on the floor and on the edging to make sure that we get a good bond. And are you using the sand mix? 
Yeah, that's that. It's got a lot smaller stone in it than normal, and that's fine for this. Yeah. Pretty close to what the old guy used when this was this was done in 1950. And then you can see it's just fine. Yeah. So he did a good job. He did a real on, good job. It looks nice. On most everything. The only thing he did wrong on the whole installation for for as old as it was is the the smoke the chimney pipe going in right too high pipe next to combustible material. Mm -hmm. But he did everything else perfect. He ran his own uh, uh, wire, uh, dedicated. Um, a lot of people didn't start doing that till later, but he did it right off way back. So he did it good. So it's yeah. 72 years old. So and it still ran. It's just getting too expensive for gas in this area. They raise it like every yeah. Every time they ask for permission to raise it, then tell them they can raise it, and it just keeps going up. So. And you can see it's just a utility basement. Nothing fancy, but the laundry's down here and what was originally the original bath for indoor plumbing. So we're just going to work on it and clean it up, give it a little patchwork and a fresh coat of paint. Yeah. It's mostly concrete. So these people on Pinterest like to post these wonderfully silly ideas of to restore and save things. With him and I and our client's dolly, which we never like turn away from any job, we could not get this to move on the cart or upstairs. But look at how much space this opened up here. We're going to do a whole job. So he's been patching in with uh, a topping concrete over the top. And we're going to do that section where that has stood for a long time. He did this corner today. And just like to give you an example of what you can do for a few dollars. These bags are like six, six and a half dollars. Special blended for that. So like this window having some water leakage and moisture old concrete forms that weren't smooth but we figured the best way to get this out of here is in buckets because having either one of us pushing and pulling on the dolly up these steps the guy pulling has happened to do a lot of work to not drop it on the guy on the bottom doing the pushing it's not worth no, it's it's Injury. heavier than a refrigerator or a freezer. It's heavier than a barrel of oil by far. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So they're not worth any money. It's not worth getting hurt. Or if you can even give get somebody to give it to them. Yeah. If they get hurt on your place. Yeah. There's no value to it. We see them for sale anywhere from thirty to one hundred and fifty dollars. One started out at two hundred, reduced to thirty. So you say okay. You got to bring your guys to uh, remove it from the basement, and then they fall down their steps and get fall down your steps and get hurt. Then you're gonna get sued for the liability of them falling down your steps. So this was the safest and best way for us to deal with it. It's sad to do because it's so old. There's a stamp on the bottom, 1940. So this house is much older than that, but it's time this old basement gets kind of straightened up and put up a little better situation more usable space
watch out for this new water heater. It's very stony concrete. Well, it's super quality, but I don't understand the point of the concrete. I don't get it. It could have just been the galvanized. Yeah, they had galvanized wash tub. I don't get it. So. Let's see if I can't replace it with a... Uh, cabinet style utility set. a lot heavy duty even the plumbing work on it was really heavy duty we uh we had these steel pipes coming down from the ceiling to the faucet so the faucet just sits on the edge we'll salvage that or use it for something else but this thing that's probably five pounds Yeah, that's pretty, plenty of weight for the car. All right, let's go.